take a bow, friends. I mean, you guys all got captured and were reliant upon us to, to, to save you, but you did the help, I guess, in the end. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Princess Peach Showtime. Last episode, we wrapped up everything on the top floor and in the basement as well, granting us access to this, what I assume is the final door. Stella, of course, wants her share of the gems. I don't know what she's doing with them, but frankly, she needs to be compensated for her ability to open doors and... I guess 30 is the going price. It does seem to continue to accelerate, Stella. Or what, what are you spending these gems on, hmm? Food? Clothing, perhaps? No, because we buy all her clothing, don't we? Anyways, uh, the door doesn't seem to want to open. What's up with that? It's not working. Does Sparkle not work on this door? Hmm. Oh. Hello there. Ha <laughs> ha. I am the sword fighter. <sighs> and everyone else. So this is why they said we needed to save everyone in the basement. Because they're going to use their tiny little mitts to pry this door open like an army of rodents. <sighs> oh, it's going to be delightful. <gasps> All you need now are our sparkler spirits and our love for this theater. We're placing our trust in you two. And they all emanate a beautiful glowing light that would seem to be enough to counteract the purple hue of the door. Sending us to the stage once more. Are we gonna, what is this? What is this? Do we get a super transformation? Some sort of combo of all the skills? What, what is this? Oh God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Rosalina. Look at this. I, I thought she had the monopoly on, on light blue colored princesses. It's pretty though. I must say. We are the Sparkla personified. So sure. Wow. Uh, radiant Peach. Okay. Assuredly, this means we get some sort of new capability. I had thought that perhaps we need a combo. You know, we could whip out a sword. We could whip out a laser hand. We could whip out our kung fu fists. But maybe that's not what I should expect from this. We've got everyone's strength with us now. Let's go, Peach. Let's go pop some grapes. We're going to make grape jelly tonight. Yes, we are, Stella. And we're going to spread it all over our toasted buns. It's going to be delicious. All right, you ever had a toasted bun with grape jelly? Oh, mm. now I'm even more motivated to go kip grape right in her vine. Relatively ominous entrance, but hey, that's nothing that's unfamiliar to us. We've dealt with our fair share of ominous expeditions throughout the greater part of this entire Let's Play. Of course, it hasn't even been that long. It's only been going for two weeks, and I think we're going to wrap it up here today, unless there's some sort of exorbitant post-game. Oh. Bright light shines on Princess Peach's face. What does she see? She's staring right into it. Oh, it's Grape. Hello. I might have known. <laughs> Welcome to my glorious stage! Oh, it doesn't look like much of a stage. It looks like an arena. I've been waiting for you, Peach. Your brilliant luster has built up everyone's hopes and expectations, and the bigger their dreams, the bigger their despair when I shatter them all, creating the finest, most decadent tragedy. <laughs> How I've waited for this. In order to complete my ultimate stage, I need someone like you to play my foil. Come now, let the tragedy begin. Look at my scepter. It's purple. It's showtime. Well, looks like we're not wasting any time. We are quite literally getting right to it. Wow. Evil though she may be, she is. She's a personality. Oh, wow. Look at me. I've got a whole, like, aura. So I can launch at her. I see. Yeah, let me just hit you with these. I'll hit your... your oh, oh. Let, let me not get caught up in the pyrotechnics. Uh, I may be... You know, a, a goddess, a deity filled with the powers of swords, kung fu, and mighty all together. But I'm also still quite flammable. So, you know, let's, let's do that. And there's no jumping in this form, it would seem. I am just meant to avoid the hazards and find ways to, to blast her. Maybe I don't even need to blast her friends here. I'll just blast her. And she starts to turn to look at me, meaning things are probably going to change here. Pyrotechnics, pyrotechnics, no thank you. Let's just avoid those. 
I don't see... Are we doing it correctly? I haven't... Okay, I was going to say, I haven't noticed anything changing. There's no sort of health meter or any other inclination that I could glean from her as far as her damage received beyond her, like, flashing. Right? It's, uh, that there, it, it shows me that she is taking some damage. Very much like my own self. <laughs> I think I am better off just standing here, though. At least until these things start coming, then wow, let's go to the right. Just get away, and then, then we, then we, then we blast her again with our star power, because you know we'd be doing that. We're a hero after all. And what do heroes do when they see purple people? They throw blue stuff at them. All right, goodness gracious. Uh, there's a train. Should I outrun the train? Uh, yeah, can't be doing that. I, what, what, what would I have? What could have I ever have hoped to have done there? The train was moving quicker. I mean, I am only a human after all. Humans, traditionally speaking, are not quicker than trains. And the, and the train just did a complete circle. Either which way, maybe that was just a guaranteed bit of damage we must take. Just like the guaranteed damage that we're putting on this. Like, give me them hearts. Give me them hearts. <laughs> and stay away from the pyrotechnics. Whee! Okay, pyrotechnics are getting a little bit more frequent here. We've got to definitely... Yeah, okay, maybe maybe it's just for that particular phase. As I said, we definitely got to keep moving. Now we can take a break and just assault her right in her... I don't even know what part of her body that is. Like her shin or something? Oh, God. Oh, no. We've been we've been scrutled. Only with three hearts left, we are not exactly in a prime situation for survival here. But there I say I think we're doing okay. If we, we, we've got her to, to do the little flip. Excuse me. I'm trying to shoot your queen here. Can I help you? It's very rude for you to get in my... Oh, God. Jiminy Christmas. We almost got got there and there. I, the pyrotechnic ones are probably the most challenging for me. Just because, I don't know, I, I feel like the time duration between them is so ridiculously short. Train? Train and planes? How do I avoid them? Just go. Okay. <laughs> just, just run. Run from the, the machines. Run to the left now. Gosh darn it. It's fine. Oh, boy. We're... Oh, we can go up and down. What the... Oh, my... Great. It only took me the friggin' how long into the fight to realize that. <laughs> we can't jump. We fly. So I could just avoid... No, I guess those go kind of high, too. But no matter, we are ascending even higher because we are... Oh, we're about to Kamehameha her. Mash. I thought she was going to say it. Did you hear that? <laughs> Ka! Blast her. Look at her, she's dazed and confused, ripe for the blasting! Have we done it? Is that it? No, that's just gotta be phase one, right? I don't know, dude, when your face bounces on the floor, that's usually indicative of a defeat. All of her peons behind us with their glowing eyes don't seem to be too particularly concerned with it. We did it! Thank you so much, Peach! Your sparkle is truly amazing! <laughs> the theater's going to be okay now! Let's get back to everyone! And just forget about all those demons and, you know, the mask itself. Whatever! It's fine! We don't need to double-check anything! There's definitely going to be another phase. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's floating! Too soon, much too soon to end things here. We haven't even gotten to the finale yet. Peach, my dark powers are destined to dull your incessant sparkle. As such, a magnificent tragedy will be played out. Ah, look at me, I'm the essence of purple. Can you smell the grape in the air? Ah, it's my B.O. I haven't taken a shower in a while, but it's fine. Anyways, I wonder what we're going to get into now, because it would seem that no longer are we Radiant Peach. We're going to have to utilize a different set of abilities in order to combat this second stage of the Great Fight. I wonder still if there won't be some inclusion of the previous... Wow. Previous abilities. What happened here? Did she destroy the theater? We saved the theater. Wait, it's exploded! Yeah, it's not saved. It's the opposite. And we got Super Ultra Mega Grape. Jiminy Christmas, it's a friggin' kaiju. <laughs> Terrifying. All right, I thought you were kind of elegant and a little cool, but... Our theater, it's in pieces! Not anymore. 
If Grape continues unchecked, the entire island will be destroyed. It might really be the end! Get it? What? What? <gasps> Princess Peach is like, I smell... I smell cheesesteaks. Oh my god. Everyone, give me your nose! The Dragon Ball parallels write themselves. What is this, a spirit bomb? Let's go! Filter with your cheesesteak power and we'll throw it up to rape and make her cower. Everyone seems particularly pleased by this, so I guess there's no... Maybe there's no fight. Oh, oh, oh. We're retransforming back into Radiant Peach. Maybe now we're going to be giant Radiant Peach. We have to, right? How else are we going to compete with such a giantess as Grape is in her current form? Definitely going to need something. Something different than what we were just doing, I'd have to imagine. Uh, no, we are not giant. At all. Come on, Peach, let's go! Alrighty. We, we, we seem to be outmashing. Oh, look! Hey, the very Nintendo thing of a giant face and two hands. Goodness me. Alright, controls. Tell me what I, what I should be looking for here. Hold B to attack! Come on, just do it! Alright. Throwing the lasers right in her face. Perfect! You don't like that, huh? Your left eye is getting it. Your right eye can get it. Well, maybe not. Your right eye can get it, too! <laughs> You're going blind today, grape. Ain't nothing like a big old splash of Baja Blast right in your face to truly ruin your day. Can I blast these out of the way? No, I can't. No, I can't. I have to evade. Can I blast the hands? Um, okay, I don't know what that is. There's some sort of big ominous thing coming out there. Let's, let's get on the eyeballs again. It's seen the eyeballs of the weak spot. Makes sense to me. Got some hearts for that. Keep blasting. Don't stop. The blasting is required. Continual blasting. Please and thank you. Just get over here. It's very good. Thank you for your display of your balls. I do appreciate it. They are offensive and large and probably would have hurt me in some capacity if I were to allow them to, uh, to touch my body. Unfortunately, no balls touch this princess. Okay. Anything spherical must go. No spheres here. Not allowed. Uh, get your eye. Oh, missed it. That's good. Mm, probably want to go up here. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close one. We're definitely playing with fire. Playing with, uh... Let's get the, the black hole over here so that we can... Whoa, that was fast. There we go. Black hole over there so that we can blast. Perfect! We're dealing a lot of damage here. Again, very much like the first phase of this fight, there's really no indication how you're progressing, right? There is indication that you're, what you're doing is good, that it is causing this, this lady harm in some capacity. Uh, th that would hurt me. Let, me. let me just not be touched, please, and thank you. But there's no indication of whether or not we've made significant progress. There's no indication whether or not we've made any real progress because it's not unlike a Nintendo boss to, to look like you're hurting it only to realize you were in fact not hurting it. Oh God, too many. What did I tell you about the balls? Grape, you sick munchkin. I told you no balls, no balls. Uh-uh, not allowed. Oh, no lasers either. Are these lasers Look like grape soda fountains? Oh, that touched me? Really? I don't buy that. No. That's impossible. I've never seen it before. All right, what do we got? I'm hitting you while your balls are balling. Goodness gracious, your grave is calling. Feral. All right, let's get rid of you. Is that it then? Oh, her face has exploded. That's probably not ideal for her. The Princess Peach, of course, will celebrate the explosion of her enemy's face. <laughs> As is part of the course for most heroes and heroines. They tend to enjoy things uh, that, that happen to their enemies. Princess Peach is not one to uh, let her foot off the gas, and she blasts herself right into the gaping hole left behind by the exploding face. Uh, meant for me to mash B, apparently. Let me, let, me, let me just do that right quickly so that we continue to change the purple into blue. That's the one thing we've learned through this, is that purple bad, blue good. Go! Blue! Listerine! Yes! Nice job. That was pretty cool. Amongst all of the boss fights that we've had in this game, and I guess it's too early to say whether or not this one's done, but two phases like that, two, a two-part boss fight, I feel like that's appropriate. And it does, in fact, seem like that is the end as her pointer finger, or is that her, is she trying to flip us off? As her finger fades out of, out of existence. <laughs> uh, I will say, though, like I was going to say, that this boss fight, specifically compared against the priors, was my favorite one. 
That was nice. I mean, it does a lot for it when there's multiple segments like there was. But just, just from like a mechanic perspective, I, I enjoyed that. And I really do like Radiant Peach, even as a concept like that. Oh my goodness, this game, as if it could have been any more rife with cosplays, adds another one in the very final few minutes. Beautiful. And what are we, are we, are we repairing the theater? Very good. Showtime, she says. The show must go on. With all her infinite power, cure world hunger? No! Let's build a theater. Oh, yes. Truly what the people need are entertainment. You can stuff your belly full of performances. Yeah! Ha -ha! We Hello, everyone. We did it! Hello! Look at us all. Take a bow, friends. I mean, you guys all got captured and were reliant upon us to, to, to save you, but you did help, I guess, in the end by helping transform us to Radiant Peach, so you deserve, you know, something of a bow. And the game specifically itself! All the people here that are about to grace the screen through the credits all deserve to take a bow because this was a solid game. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ear hole and tell you that this was just the perfect game I've ever played, but it was good! It was good, you know? I, it was clearly made uh, tentatively. Maybe not tentatively, but it was clearly made with a, with an eye or an ear to younger gamers, right? They wanted it to be accessible to those sorts of, of individuals. Uh, probably playing into the success that the Mario movie had, right? That was un, undeniably successful across all age groups, but extremely successful in the younger age groups. And as Nintendo tries to continue to expand their footprint in those markets, well, this is a very natural next step to make Princess Peach her own household name in the gaming community uh, with the young kids. And that makes sense. And for my uh, myself, I mean, I'm in my 30s. I've grown up a Nintendo fan. I enjoyed it just for that reason alone, but also all of the different mechanics. And I've touched on this probably every episode, but all the different mechanics, right? It's almost a different game every time you play it. Whether you're the Ninja Peach here as shown on the screen or the Cowgirl Peach or the Patissiere Peach, you're doing something different every time. And yes, you are using the same two buttons and the one stick really i mean same three buttons i guess if you count zl for the uh, for the special moments but it's they did a lot with still limiting it right and i think that's truly what's most impressive keeping it so very kid friendly so very accessible for someone who doesn't even know how to read uh it, while also still making it entertaining for someone like myself who's just a nintendo fan and I don't think that this was ever meant to appeal to like a wide audience. People that aren't Nintendo fans that are adults probably wouldn't really get it or really wouldn't enjoy it, I suppose. I mean, it, uh, far be it from me to make that judgment. You let me know. Maybe you hate everything else Nintendo, but this is the one thing that you're like, yeah. If so, hey, my bad. But that's just my, my two cents. For what it was, and like I just detailed, it's very obvious what it was. For what it was, it was good. It really was, and I really appreciate it. I think that Princess Peach has been historically underserved from Nintendo, right? She had Super Princess Peach 15 plus years ago, and then nothing else since. Hopefully this game here is a, another step in the right direction of continuing to craft that, you know, maybe not separate franchise, because Princess Peach, I feel like, does still fall under the greater Mario umbrella, right? Just like Princess Zelda falls under the greater Zelda umbrella. And I mean, Zelda, the Legend of Zelda is named after the princess, but... Speaking of princesses that need their own games, when's Princess Zelda gonna get one, huh? I think that this, hopefully it's, hopefully th this has been considered a success by Nintendo standards, and they continue to develop or research or otherwise conceptualize games in the same vein, because we need diversity. I'm just gonna be honest with you. We do, okay? <laughs> There's so many characters in Nintendo, and I love Mario, I love Zelda, you know, Link specifically, right? But they get so many games. And I want more of them. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I want more of them. But I want more from Princess Peach. I want more from Princess Zelda. I want more from Waddle Dee. And hey, I, I don't know if there's a Princess Waddle Dee out there. Probably not going to get that for another decade or three. But, you know, hey. <laughs> Circling back to the topic at hand as the credits continue to scroll. Again, I'm very thankful for Nintendo for choosing to go this direction. Uh, given the lack of success of Super Princess Peach, it was undoubtedly risky and probably met with no small amount of scrutiny internally. As, you know, this was, pro this was pitched, it was run through ideation. They did a great job, and I'm very thankful they did. And furthermore, I'm very thankful for you 
for watching. You know, it's only 14 episodes, it's a relatively short series, but you could have done anything at all with that time, and you chose to spend it here, and for that, again, I thank you. I really hope you enjoyed yourself. You know, I play these games because I enjoy them, number one, but number two, because I think that you would enjoy the experience of watching alongside, and I hope that was the case. As you may imagine, I, I, I do this every single day. <laughs> So we've got another Let's Play coming up again after the culmination of this series, which I do believe this is the last episode, unless the end of these credits throws something wild at me. Like Princess Grape is no longer Grape. She is now a tomato or something. I don't know. <laughs> probably not. Uh, barring that, of course, like I said, this is probably the end. And we will move on ahead to another Let's Play tomorrow. If you are a member, of which I do thank all of my YouTube members and patron supporters, you see them at the end of the video. You can check join if you're interested in that. You can get videos and episodes early, a number of other perks and emojis and stuff like that. And it actually directly supports me and helps enable me to do this more and more. Uh, but that aside, if you are one of those members or patrons, you will know what's coming tomorrow because I told you guys that a few days ago. If you're not, well, hey, I guess you're just going to have to wait till tomorrow and see. Either which way, though, whether or not you are a member, whether or not this is your first or your 14th video in the series, whether or not you just somehow are getting this message any old-fashioned way, I appreciate you, and I sincerely hope that you enjoyed yourself. And circling back to this game specifically, if I had to pick a favorite moment, I know I touched on Grape and called it my favorite boss fight, and that is correct. Uh, man, it was it was difficult to pick. I was, I've found myself constantly flip-flopping back and forth between several of the capabilities as far as which is my favorite, but I do still think that the first one, Sword Fighter Peach, is my favorite. I mean, it's, it's almost iconic in a way, right? Since that was the first one unveiled in the Nintendo Direct that announced this game. But I also, I guess, am perhaps just a little bit biased for sword fighting. <laughs> I enjoy it. So I, I, I guess I'd have to go with that being my favorite ability, and then my favorite boss outside of Grape would probably be Spot Lion. I just, I, I found so much humor in the naming convention, right? It's very clever, number one, but number two, it was just also a very unique and fun boss. I mean, really, unique and fun is kind of kind of the, kind of the two words I would put for this game. Uh, I, I, it was developed by Good Feel, as I understand it, which also produced Kirby's Epic Yarn which I would also call unique and fun. And funnily enough, that game also was kind of simple and, for lack of a better word, you know, childish, which, I mean, right up my alley, by all means. But it's very interesting. Oh, look at this, hey. It's very interesting that, uh, number one, I suppose, that they were consistent in their development of it. But number two, just how gosh darn good it was. So thank you, good feel for giving me the good feel and hopefully giving the audience a good feel as well. Okay, so we can press A. What does that mean? We take a photo. High five, Stella and Peach. Post game, huh? Maybe? I don't know. I can't read that. I never did take French, but... There was a note there that said something. A special dress is now on sale. Talk to the shopkeep to learn more. You can decorate the theater now. Talk with the new shopkeep to learn more. Hide and seek challenge. You can now take the hide and seek challenge. Talk with the ninja sparkler. You can now take on the boss challenges. Check the posters near the stairs. You can do all sorts of things. So not a post game in earnest, but you know, post game content, shall we say. Right, like there, there's things you can do. And we'll, we'll investigate some of it here because we've got a few more minutes. Why the heck not? I don't know that I'm going to, I'm not going to do like the boss challenge or anything because I'd have to expect that to be like a boss rush and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, but I am curious to see what the, uh, the things we can buy are. Yay, Peach, you must have read my letter. Everyone here wants to see more of your performances. Would you perform for us in the theater again? All of Peach's performances have been markedly violent. Is that what everyone likes? Like the, the gladiator games? They just want to see Peach assault a bunch of people? <laughs> Let's look around together! Yay! All right, Stella. So over there... Peach, over here! There's the ninja who... 
I already forgot. What, what do you have? What does the ninja dude have? We are holding a hide and seek challenge. Can you find my apprentices hiding in each stage? Ah, I see. So you just go through each stage again and try and find the ninja dudes. Interesting. Uh, shopkeeps, I understand you guys have more for sale here for me. And I do love buying things. Peach, special dress. What is the special dress? Which of these? Is it spotlight? No. It's radiant, undoubtedly. Radiant and great. Interesting. Wow. It's very pretty, I will say. All of these are pretty. Who am I kidding? I do think I prefer the one that I have stayed with this entire time. I know I talked about changing it for the final battle, but it's just so... It's, it's perfect. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. And then for Stella... Yeah, I still kind of like the one that she's had the whole time. I really do. I really do. Okay, well, so one more thing to check out. They said that we can buy things for the theater? I'm so relieved the grape is gone. Words cannot express my gratitude. Might I trouble you for one more thing? You see, I'd like to use the power of sparkle gems to decorate the theater. Would you help me decorate so we can delight the visitors? Oh, so you also are much like Stella and require the gems. I see. I've got 63, so I can buy some things here. So it tells you what floor they go on. We can, we can outfit the first floor with all of their things, it looks like. And they're color-coded as well. Red being first, green second, yellow third, blue fourth, and gray five. We'll probably do two floors. Let's get the balloon garlands for the first floor. Please and thank you. The filler ribbons for the first floor. And, of course, the Stella statue for the first floor. And then we can get everything for the top floor as well. So... We'll just kind of sandwich all the goodness. You know, ordinarily the parts of the sandwich you like the most are in the inside, but we like the bread here. And then, and then, hmm, the chandelier for the third floor. Perfect. So it's like every other gets a little something. Fantastic. Let's give it a oh, look-see. Now, oh, look, they wrapped them up. The pillars. Beautiful. Wow, look at this. Yeah, Stella's the hero, huh? <laughs> Stella's telling all these people, Yeah, you know, the princess was fine, but really, I did everything. Yeah, you know, it was so easy. And she's a regular Mr. Satan, huh? Hercule, I'm on to you, Stella. It's fine. Princess Peach probably has enough statues of her. Well, I was going to say in the Mushroom Kingdom, but probably even more places than that. Look at our beautiful chandelier. Very gold here. You don't have a pal. All the way to the top floor now so that we can see the, uh, I guess, the pristine white marble. Or at least that's what it looked like when we were outfitting it and purchasing those upgrades. We'll see what that looks like here as our final coup de gras. Beautiful. Beautiful. Golly gee Willicker. Well, my name is LP. I play Nintendo games every single day and I talk a lot. And I'll be doing even more of that next time. There you have it. Friends, thanks again for hanging out with me for the greater part of the last two weeks. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope I see you again next time.